To get us thinking about why God made people, let's think about why we make things. Think about something you've made. It might be a baked item, a Lego creation, something you wrote, a computer program, a song you've made up, or a piece of artwork. Why do you make things? It's interesting compare, to compare why we make things and why God made people. Let's find out what the Bible has to say. On the student page this week, there are four sets of verses. Each set comes with a project for you to create. I sent a list of supplies to your parents, so grab those supplies if you have them. As I read a section of the verse, I want you to use specific supplies to create a specific thing. God created people to take care of the earth. As I read Psalm 8, 6 through 8, I want you to use pom-poms, googly eyes, glue dots or glue, yarn, and pipe cleaners to make some creative animals. Psalm 8, 6 through 8 says, You gave humans charge of everything you made, putting all things under their authority, the flocks and the herds and all the wild animals, the birds in the sky, the fish in the sea, and everything that swims the ocean currents. Now answer this question, how can humans take care of the earth? The other reason, another reason God created people was God created people for friendship with him. I want you to use yarn or string to make friendship bracelets. You can braid, tie knots, or make a crochet chain. Acts 17 verses 24 and 27 and 28 say, He is the God who made the world and everything in it. His purpose was for the nations to seek after God and perhaps feel their way toward Him and find Him, though He is not far from any one of us. For in Him we live and move and exist. How does a friendship bracelet demonstrate friendship? And what does it mean to be friends with God? A third reason why God created people is to show how awesome He is. Using permanent markers and a piece of foil, I want you to write words that describe God. We're going to do this because as foil reflects, we reflect God and how awesome He is. Romans chapter 11 verse 36 says, For everything comes from Him and exists by His power and is intended for His glory. All glory to Him forever. Amen. Your last project is to use those pipe cleaners to make whatever you want. These creations will remind you that God created what He wanted to create. God made people simply because he wanted to. Revelation 4 verses 11 or verse 11 says, "You are worthy, O Lord, our God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things and they exist because you created what you pleased." How did creating something help you show what you wanted to tell? These Bible verses show us that there's not just one, but several reasons God made people. One thing we know is God is our friend. He made us to be in relationship with Him because He just wanted to make us. And the closer we get to Him, the more, the more we'll show how awesome He is. But I still have one question about showing off how awesome God is. It's based on Psalm 148. It says, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the heights above. Praise Him, all His angels. Praise Him, all His heavenly hosts. Praise Him, sun and moon. Praise Him, all you shining stars. Praise Him, you highest heavens and you waters above the skies. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For at his command they were created, and he established them forever and ever. He issued a decree that will never pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you great sea creatures and all ocean depths, lightning and hail, snow and clouds, stormy winds that do his bidding, you mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, small creatures and flying birds, kings of the earth, and all nations, you princes and all rulers of or uh, on earth, young men and women, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His splendor is above the earth and heavens, and he has raised us for his people a horn. The praise 
Of all his faithful servants of Israel, the people close to his heart praise the Lord. What did you notice about the kinds of creation that can praise God? How could hail, star, or small animals praise God? If everything God made can praise him, what's so special about people? This psalm shows us God made everything, not just people, to show how awesome he is. But here's one difference. Here's what's different about humans. Humans were the only creation God made in his image. They were the only creation God gave a choice to love him or reject him. It was the biggest risk God took in creation. That means when he chose to be friends, when we choose to be friends with God, it's that much more special. We're not friends with God because we have to be. We're friends with God because we want to be. That's special to him because God is our friend. So if God made people because God is our friend and he made us in his image to show how awesome he is, let's think about what kinds of awesome things about God we can see in other people. I see lots of qualities of God in other people. Kindness, generousness, loving, servant, forgiving. I want you to follow the directions on, on page 77 and cut out your paper people chain. And write your own words on write your own words on the people. Other ideas might be wisdom, compassion, and creativity. So it'll look something like this. God is our friend, and we can see some of what he's like when we look at the good qualities in other people. Keep your paper chains and hang them somewhere that will remind you to look for people reflecting God's glory. We discovered today that God is our friend. He made us so he could be friends with us and so we could show off how awesome God is. Plus, he just wanted to make us and he gave us an important job to help take care of his other creation. We're about to reflect God's goodness by doing a top secret mystery mission. The mystery mission is to look for qualities in other people that show you something about, about who God is. Then tell at least one person who you see God in him or her, and that you're glad God created him or her. Today, we're going to end with a blessing instead of a prayer. This bold blessing is from Psalm 139, verse 14. Carry it in your mind and heart this week. It says, may you see that God made you wonderfully complex. May you know that his workmanship is how he made you marvelous. Be bold this week. Have a great week, friends. See you next week.